Donald Trump viewed his 2016 presidential run as something of a marketing tool for his business. You know, in a certain way, that's brand value, the Republican frontrunner said in September 2015, reflecting on his early lead in the polls. I don't talk about it. Except, of course, he did talk about it. Not just with Forbes but with his team, including former attorney Michael Cohen. Mr. Trump would often say this campaign was going to be the greatest infomercial in political history, Cohen later testified before Congress. He never expected to win the primary. He never expected to win the general election. The campaign for him was always a marketing opportunity. Politics indeed proved to be a marketing opportunity for Trump, just not a profitable one. By running, Trump basically guaranteed that he wouldn't continue earning money from The Apprentice, which aired from 2004 to 2015 and provided Trump with what he said was $214 million. In the early days of the 2016 campaign, Trump's product licensing partners distanced themselves after he made controversial comments about Mexican immigrants. Shortly before taking office, Trump abandoned dozens of potential deals. Once he was in the White House, profits plunged at properties, such as the Trump National Doral Golf Resort in Miami. He is now worth an estimated $2.5 billion, $1 billion less than he was on Inauguration Day. All of which puts the president in an interesting situation. Yes, he has lost the election, according to every leading news outlet, which means he'll soon lose other presidential perks, like wielding power over lenders and receiving protection from federal prosecutors. But he will gain something, too, the opportunity, over the next few years, to earn millions more. Not a bad consolation prize. Bill Clinton demonstrated one way to cash in after leaving office. When the 42nd president left the White House in 2001, he was basically broke, owing millions in legal fees. Clinton quickly found a way to make money by giving paid speeches, starting with a $125,000 one to Morgan Stanley on February 5, 2001, just 16 days after he left office. By the end of 2015, Clinton had earned an estimated $106 million from speaking. Trump can clearly attract large crowds. Why not charge them money? Then there are books. Clinton earned an estimated $38 million as an author from 2001 to 2015, penning books including the memoir My Life. America's current tweeter-in-chief isn't known for his literary prowess, but he has actually released more than a dozen books, making him one of America's most published billionaires. Given all that he has seen in office, Trump should have plenty of fresh material. On television, Trump seems to have virtually endless possibilities. He could theoretically go back to reality TV. Maybe there would be an opportunity to pick political apprentices? Or he could presumably host a news show.